Hey, it's your girl Natalie, and I am going backstage with Blackstage DC here at WSC Avant Bard. And we are talking to the two actors of Top Dog, Underdog about this whole crazy rehearsal process. I don't know if you heard about it in the DC theater, but it's been a crazy rehearsal process. And I'm gonna talk to both of them about what it's like to step into a rehearsal process eight days before previews and rehearsing with a new scene partner three weeks after rehearsing with another one. So come with me. Backstage with Blackstage. Oh, wow. I'm so glad y'all came to like talk to me. I really appreciate you all. So, everybody is talking about this show, you know, because it's a great show. But it's because, you know, we've had somebody who was in the show, who's been promoted to be in the show, and he left after three weeks in, from what I understand, right? Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. you, Jeremy, mm -hmm. came in about eight days ish. About a week, yeah. Before the show yeah. started mm -hmm. in preview, I believe. Yeah. What's that like? <laughs> uh, <laughs> just, just tell me, walk me through that process. Okay, um, coming off of a, a tour uh, that I did in February um, for the Smithsonian Discovery Theater. I was looking forward to the march that I had of just kind of open space to just kind of breathe as I get ready for Le Du Noir mm -hmm. at Mosaic. And then out of the blue, a friend calls and was like, hey, uh, would you be interested in doing something? Yeah, I like doing things all the time. <laughs> so one thing led to another and I found myself auditioning for the show. Now let me say right now, it's because of Lewis. It's, it's because I knew who I was going to be playing with that attracted me to the process. And then it was just a, a thing of, I knew he was solid where he was at, so I didn't have to worry about my, my, you know, building a scene. I knew the scene was already there. So it takes a lot of the pressure off when you're coming into a project like, oh, so you need me to fit a piece. Not a problem. Everything's already pretty much laid out for you. You just kind of fit in, get in where you fit in. Um, Biggest part would be, I would have to say, of course, the lines. Because um, you're on stage you know, pretty much it, the whole time. The whole time, yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, we would get to places and it's like I have to have my, my script. But up until then, we're able to play and find things. And, yeah, over the course of eight days, eight days, I, I, just, I just put it all in. And... and just made it work. And the good thing is you two have worked together before. Yes. So you're right. kind of familiar with each other's style. <laughs> so it's not right. like you're coming in brand new right. with right. some with a scene partner. Right. Yeah. And so for you, I mean, you've been rehearsing with another actor mm -hmm. for like three weeks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and shout out, shout out to Khalil, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's a good guy, man. Great. The, the things we were building was really working. You could hear the tone. It was definitely there. Mm -hmm. Uh, but man, I respect him. He had to go do what he felt was best for him. And at that moment, when he did leave, you know, in other situations, I might have felt like, dang, you know, why he gotta go? All this work I done put in. Because in my mind, I'm thinking it's a wrap. Mm -hmm. But I didn't feel <laughs> let down just because of what we were working on. Like, I didn't feel like my time was wasted. Because I got to discover Booth. I got to live in him and then and, and dive into this work. So it was cool. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, we'll be done. I can go home, like, you know, make some money, you know, <laughs> work on my AV side, get back in the gym, you know. It was cool. And then it was. But then I got to hand it to Tom and WSC for, for pushing through and then trying to find, because they were asking me, like, what do you think we could do? I was like, in my mind, the only way I could see it working is if they got someone who had just played Lincoln recently, somewhere else who already knew the script, mm -hmm. who could just come in, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. But then they found my brother here, and he said he could get off book in a week, and this did. boy did it. I did it. You got off book in it. a week. I did. I don't know how he did it. The way my brain set up. <laughs> That's what but I'm saying. This is, I mean, it takes actors, um, you know, we typically yeah. in DC yeah. theater have a month yeah. to process. Yeah. Well, I can't wait to see it. I, we're going to see it. And then, you know, I'm going to yeah, share this with the people. Yeah. What we can do. And you got any final words you want to say to the Black Stage family? <laughs> 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 
do it like this. Okay. Hey, what you want to let All right. I feel like this is on Dia Samiro when they do the little <laughs> rainbow in there. Okay. Ooh, bump it. Me, JJ Johnson, Le Du Noir, Mosaic. We open April 7th. We close April 27th. Le Du Noir. Mosaic Theater, come see me. That's the other show you're working on. Yes, and yes, it's it is. only two people in that show. Yes, and it is. And there's a lot of lines in that show. And dancing. <laughs> and dancing. Your back boy to dancing. Back two handers. Back to back. And what do you do? You have anything that's coming? Man, up? I wish I didn't, because <laughs> <laughs> while I was rehearsing for those three weeks, I was also in Master and Margarita at mm. Constellation Stage, and that had an extension. We had four. They added shows, so we had. For show weekends, mm. so my top of the year has been strenuous, so to book, say the least. Book busy and blessed. Yeah, Facts. book busy and blessed. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. After this, I wish I did have a break. Yeah. But y'all come out, check me in uh, Taffy Punk, um, Antigonic, mm. and then you can check me later this summer with Adventure Cat in the Hat.